Hey guys, what's up? And today we are going to a very sensitive topic, which is how, what players to sell and what players to keep in the start of our next season. There are a few things you need to know about that, and it has to do with the rating of players. The rating of players do with five numbers. Like say for example your player is at 10, you have 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15 in your league or 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 in your league and each of those fives represent one star. So the things you need to know is what are your main players, what are your players you don't you normally use and the stats of each player that you use so you know a basic team like your key players that you won't want to lose and those key players are the players with top quality which is five star from the beginning of the season or six star at least those are the type of players you want to keep because in each season as you progress if you have a six star player you go down to a five star player if you have a 4 star player is going to a 3 star and the 4 star player you do not want to keep. The players like in 5 star and 6 star, those are the kind of players you like to keep. Like take for example my one of my top goalkeeper David De Gea. He is at 5 star and he is 1 point from becoming a 6 star player. This is a player I'm gonna need to keep because in the next season he will go down to four star but he will progress quicker. He just need one more point to become a six star or in the next season he will become a five star player. As for my league, my league deal with the stats rating from 120, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. The players you want to keep are the players that will be in the 127, 128, 129, 130 area. You don't want to keep them if they are at 126. Right? And another thing you have to make sure that they are at least young so they will develop more quicker. A uh, older player will take much much longer to de develop. Only if like that old player you have is at 129, which you know he just need a little more points, then get over to that five star, that six star, then you keep that player. The 127 player you maybe want to ditch that one because you will have a much longer time to progress into a next star to compete for the next league. And an example of the players you do not want to keep is this player which is at 123 and 4 stars and you don't want to keep a 4 star player because at the next season the 4 star player will become a 3 star and then it won't be able to compete for the competitions which you will be competing for which will be all 3 Champions League, Cup and the League. Also, you do not want to keep the players that are flat on 5 star because when they are flat on 5 they will remain a 4 star player for the rest of the league and that you can't manage and the only time they will become a 5 star player is at the end of the league. See you can barely even see a star in the progression bar. Other than that those are the things you need to know in when transferring and you want to transfer right at the start of a new season and not before the end of this season because you have a less chance of selling those players and 
in the next season you have more chance early start of the season when everybody's gonna buy players and you have a more chance of buying and selling players at that period but more competition so with that I want to end this video with talking about the last thing and it's that well I cannot for the love of me for the life of me wake up and catch a 10 o'clock match and for that I end up barely slipping all of the Champions League space about three points behind and Champions League is a must for next season so we have two last matches which is this one It should be fairly easy, but I have to be there in order to win this. Or else it's gonna end up like this match. And this is the final match. This is the team that is in front of me, and this is gonna be a quite easy match. I know exactly how to beat it and exactly how to set up my team for it. We'll be doing that in a couple of days, so. I'm not even going into the association match. That team is like um, a 140 something percent, and I'm just one. Uh, it's totally unfair. <laughs> but this is all the league table set up for now, and only two matches remaining, so we will see you on the next match. Prior to that and keep safe everyone.